Okay, so the first thing we want to do is look at our walls. The walls, obviously, um, are one part that your eye will look down when you first walk into a room. So you want to see how they go to see how the tile goes. There's other factors, and we'll talk about all of them. But to start, we'll talk about this is the main wall. So when somebody walks into this room, they see this wall first. So what you want to do is you want to look down it. You close the other opposite eye and just look right down it. Now, if you want to get down low, it works even better because you want to see close to the floor. Now this one, I look at it and I see it has a bit of a dip in. It's not bad. It's it's generally pretty straight. Um, so with that, I've, I'm not too worried about it at all. I, I would definitely leave that. Now, in extreme cases, if you look down a wall and you see, you know, sweeping in and out and, and some major problems, you might actually have to go as far as ripping the wall down and shimming the studs out. That's, <laughs> it's up to you. It's a big job. Um, but somebody at a home uh, center, home building center will be able to help you out with that if you have any have any questions about that. That is a big job and generally I advise against it. It just adds a lot of work to your to your whole project. Finding out whether or not it's bowed or wavy. Uh, so know if you can check for square. Now in this case we actually can't. There's two reasons for that. One is that the bow that the wall does bow in. So really if you try to check for your square the numbers wouldn't really be right anyways. The second problem is this wall doesn't continue. You have a tub here. So to check to see, I'll explain how to do it in a second, but to check to see you need an area of three, three feet by four feet and then a five feet across and you really don't have that here so it's, it's not even worthwhile. If your wall was straight, you look down it, looks straight, you have two straight walls that work, what you want to do is grab your tape measure and you measure down from the corner, so you'll go from corner down to here and you'll mark off three feet. Now it's a little bit hard to see here so I'm going to do it on the floor. You've got three feet the one way, and you'll come across to the other wall and go four feet. Hopefully I'm not talking into the tub here. So you go four feet this way. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that your lines are in the same spot on both sides. So straight down from the wall is where your mark is. Then you want to take your tape measure and you measure from one side, I'll try and do this so that you can see it well, one side of the mark, right down to the other side. So you want to make sure you keep it and measure on the same side of the tape measure. It's very important. You can change the whole thing by an inch if, if uh, you, were, you were to have the one mark on one side of the tape measure and the other mark on the other side will completely mess up your numbers. So here you come across and now from what I see the numbers are way off. I'm, I'm uh, about four, four feet, uh, 11 inches and a half. So half an inch, that's, that's pretty far off. But um, what I was saying before about the bow is that it completely throws your numbers off anyway. So I wouldn't even bother doing this three it's called the three, four, five triangle. Now, if your room is bigger, you would just double your numbers. So you'd have six, uh, six, eight, ten, and you would just do that. You keep doubling your numbers as the room gets bigger, so that you'd know the full square. Uh, your general rule is you want to keep within about a quarter inch to know for your square. There's no hard and fast rule whether or not that's good enough or not, but it'll help you to know when you're laying your tiles whether or not you can just, whether you have a good, good square wall straight, you can just lay them straight, you don't have to worry about anything. If you do have out of square, you have some more issues for, for laying out your tiles. It's not a huge deal and um, generally you can get around it, but like I said before, in extreme cases you might have to rip out walls.